Hello everyone, nice to have you all back for another episode of our 107 channel. Today's topic, the Chetronic, a relic from the 70s, not KI Chetronic, but this one here. We got a W114-8 from 1972, having the Chetronic being mounted with a M110 six-cylinder engine, 2.8 liters. We check functioning of the MAP, Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor, vital component in this orchestra of components to provide fuel for the engine. And has to function without flaws, such as the fuel pressure pump, the dampener to provide a constant fuel pressure for the engine, between 2 and 2.1 bar or 28 or 30 psi. In a few seconds we start with this very topic. This component has an ECU behind, it is to calculate parameters, we check resistance and pressure to see if the membrane inside is still intact or damaged. This component sends parameters to the ECU, which is controlling the air mass flow to adapt to engine load. Typical symptom picking up speed in a lazy manner. Here we go, sitting on my workbench, not many parameters to be checked, resistance and the cracked or working membrane. We have four terminals, numbers are written on the rectangular plastic cover, 15, 10, 8, 7. Resistance between terminal 15 and 7, one at each end, 87.6 ohm, which is all right with specification tolerance from 80 to 120 ohm. We now check resistance between the innermost terminals 10 and 8, measuring 344 ohm within specification of tolerance of 300 to 400 ohm. All good, all fine. Next check between the two left terminals, 15 and 10, no resistance, now the two at the right hand side, no resistance either. Now 15 and 8 and 10 and 7, no resistance as it should be. Now all terminals, one after the other and one tip of the multimeter to housing, which is mass. Perfect, the way it should be, no resistance to be measured. Resistance check is all good, now we check vacuum. Check vacuum leaks if membrane has cracks. A generic vacuum pump that holds pressure is needed. Link to pump is below. It comes with a set of adapters, this one here fits nicely, now we produce a vacuum. You see, we have produced a vacuum which may not change for at least 10 seconds. It may not lose vacuum, otherwise the membrane inside is damaged and allows air intrusion. Looks alright to me, needle is stable at position 15, off we go on our bike. Pressure check done, results ok, component will be bolted back in engine bay now. MAP is back in place. Before reconnecting it to the wires, let me check if there is current in the wires. Ignition is at position number 2. We start at the left hand side, mass goes to number 15 and plus to terminal 10. Nota bene, at the connecting socket. Shows current on the display. No broken wire or a sporty rodent doing damage biting wires under the hood. Before reconnecting terminal to socket, we switch off the engine, nota bene. This is it, the Chetronic, a relic from the past. Works way simpler in comparison to KI Chetronic. You always get the same fuel pressure at the injectors, only the timing of injection is changing to be measured in milliseconds. We continue with some more chapters 
to this simple and reliable injection system. Thank you all for watching. See you around next time. Bye bye.